I really want to bring up something really important that you're teaming up with the Don't Major in Debt campaign. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little bit about what this campaign is all about? Yeah, we just launched the website today, uh, collegefinancecenter.org here in New York, and it's a uh, first of its kind. Um, an unbiased resource for uh, young people who are about to go to college and it gives you advice about student loans and what's the best way for you to pay for your college education. So when you go on, it's a national um, uh, website so it, uh, it examines loans all over the country and um, it helps you with the fine print so you know what you're getting into and when you graduate you'll know what's expected of you financially in terms of paying it back. It talks about the percentage of the interest rates, whether they're fixed or variable and uh, um, again it's unbiased it just really wants to help the student figure out the best way to pay for that college education because more and more these days with the um, skyrocketing of uh, the cost of tuition and the, there aren't as many grants around and financial aid is hard to get um, for a lot of young people uh, they need student loans to finance their college education and this will educate them yes definitely I mean that's a, it's a fantastic campaign and um why did you decide to be a part of this campaign? What meaning does it have to you? Well, for me, I mean, per, on a personal level, I have nieces and nephews who have just graduated from college who both have um, really high um, uh, debt and uh, are, are, could potentially be crippled by it. And also, by the way, the website addresses their issues, uh, helps them manage the debt that you've already accumulated. Um, uh, it's you know it's not a, 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 it's not magic in that it takes your debt away, but it helps you deal with it and cope with it. Um, and I also have a niece who's still in college and one about a nephew about to go into college. And uh, my niece did not do a great job in researching for her loans. In fact, she, as she goes into her senior year, she has to start repaying um, with no means of, of income. She's a student, so she's in a, she's in a bad but bad place. And this this kind of um, website, this re, uh, resource, would have been very helpful to her. And on on a, on a not so personal level, but in terms of just our, our country, um, I think that any young person who wants to get an education should get some, should get it. And uh, if they want to go to college, they should be able to go to college. And um, student loans are are the way for you know a lot of kids to get that done. Yes, definitely. And um, what was the website again? It was called. It, it is called Center. Uh, what is it called again? Sorry, <laughs> College Finance Center. Okay. Uh, the website is called the CollegeFinanceCenter.org, and we just launched that today. Okay, hey, that's great. Mm -hmm. And then um, now I can't let you go without talking about Glitty for a little bit. Here. Are you filming yet for season four? We start uh, filming season four at the end of the month, so in two weeks we'll start. What does it feel now uh, when you come and start filming and the cast members there aren't going to be there you know, in McKay? Um, are you going to miss filming with them every day? Um, most of the kids are coming back uh, in one form or another. <laughs> they'll, they'll be there either every episode or for a bunch of them. Um, so, uh, I mean, I think the show, the look of the show is going to change in terms of the personnel, but there will be, uh, you know, uh, Leah will be back and Corey will be back and Chris will be back. So. Yeah, and with that, you know, with that dynamic, with you know, going back and forth between showing what's going on at McKinley High and then also showing what's going on in New York, uh, what's that going to do to the energy? You know, will it still feel like Glee? Do you believe? I think that Glee, as long as Glee sticks to its model, which it always does, where these characters we know so well um, use music to express all of their hopes and their desires and their fears and all of their challenges, it will stay the same. But yeah, I think it's that we're in for a change. Uh, we'll be changing locations um, probably more than we have in the previous three seasons. Yeah, and um, the 2012 San Diego Comic Con was held recently, and Ian Brennan um, had this to say about um, Sue Sylvester. He said, "When we come back in, Sue has a baby, although we still don't know who the celebrity father of her child is." So do you know if we're going to see the baby at all in any scenes that you film? I have no idea. I have not seen a script. So I have a feeling that um, the baby will be uh, something. I don't know how, how present, but it, it, if the baby's not in the scene, I think the baby will be implied <laughs> in every situation. <laughs> yeah. And then um, finally, um, you, were, you popped up in an episode of The Glee this summer, right? Um, which is a fantastic show as well. And what was it like to be a mentor on that show and having to pick a winner from the group and giving advice and all that? Oh, you know, I, I don't like giving advice. I don't, 
I mean, if I, I just advice to give advice, but um, I really liked this young woman that I, I chose, and, and we had a really nice conversation, so I didn't feel so unworthy to be giving somebody else other than myself <laughs> advice. Um, but I love the show, and I think that, that I can't believe the talent they got. Pretty great. Yeah, it's fantastic. And, well, thank you so much, Jane, for speaking with me today. You bet.